Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Traders Frontiers. I'm your host, Colors Fade, and it's episode six. I'm going through and looking at my various contacts, which we now have quite a few, which is really nice. And I have organized them according to some colors. Uh, blue are people who have recruitment rumors. This is going to be useful for us when we want to recruit people to get higher levels, higher level recruits. And then uh, the types of recruits that that are that I'm interested in are the, these green people. Like she has merchant recruits, which I'd like to have. Engineer recruits if I need them. Smugglers I'd like to have at least one of those on my ship. She's got uh, let's see smuggler recruits. But down here at the bottom is this person has commander recruits. So I want to go uh, try to recruit a commander or two from him. And then the other thing is in the red group I've put. Uh, this people who can sell things like military gear and combat armor she's three jumps away and has military gear which is super important so we're going to be going there and working our personal rep up with her so that we can buy from her military gear but in the meantime we need to upgrade the ship we're at this point in the story uh, callous justice 19 AU away we go deal with this or we're going to get a story character on our ship so, and, and bounty hunters are going to come after us. So we need to upgrade the ship. And we're going to do it on this particular planet. Um, when you want to upgrade, I need to explain this because I haven't really explained this a lot yet. The starport is legendary. Uh, so your repairs are cheaper. And that's really important. Um, it's also really nice if you have uh, contacts in the system that can reduce the price of upgrades and so for instance here is uh this person seven jumps away has discounted upgrades uh, if you were in his system you could get upgrades cheaper there but seven jumps away means we're going to get jumped before we can get there um these are discounted spice discounted fuel this one's really important if you're going to play hard mode in the game, you really have to micromanage everything a lot more. I've been trying it. It's not really my kind of thing. Um, but I could see it's it's almost a different game in hard mode. And I've noticed a lot of people's advice is geared towards hard mode. Because it's just a different game. It's really unforgiving. And it's a little bit brutal. Um, I'm not going to get into all of it. But the one thing it does force you to do is micromanage everything. And so having your initial contacts give you things like discounted fuel and discounted doctor services are can be kind of important at any rate we're we don't have the option of this person down here helping us with discounted upgrades we just need to upgrade it's it's imperative so our ship the fidelis cutter i have a particular design i like for this and i and i've written it down one of the very first pieces of advice i got playing this game was take notes and so i have a spiral notebook here you can hear the pages and it's it's full of notes that I've been taking playing this game so I have things that I want to do here and I'm gonna do them um, it can take a while I'll show you what it looks like afterwards this is just the default loadout and we want to make this thing a little more combat capable so that's what I'm gonna do actually I'll show some of it in process here um, the first thing to go is always one of the cargo holds for me and to grab the largest fuel tank possible uh, so this bumps our fuel up quite a bit and this gives us a fuel of 260 which I prefer to be over 300 but you know you got to do what you can do here um, the next thing is the weapons locker um, our people are gonna need to fight so you can go up here and filter it by type match and it'll show you only the things that actually match it. Um, weapons Locker 5 is 180k. Um, but, you know, it's an advantage for your people. So we have 723. Um, actually, I'm going to save some. It's A3. There's a big difference there in cost. It's 130,000. So I'm going to upgrade some other components first. Um, Let's go with the weapons. What I like to do is fight in slot two. So in order to do that, we need to check on our talents of our crew. 
and you can go in here and you can look at crew by traits or you can look at your talent manifest and look at things like ship encounters and make sure that you have what you want so for instance flash charge nobody has that yet so that's a disadvantage this flash charge is one of the ways that helps this particular build work um, basically in combat if you go to your ship you can see where your firepower is if you're firing and playing from long range in slots five and four you want to have uh, lots of electronics navigation and basically those give you the bigger dice to roll for defense if you're gonna play in the first three slots you need lots of pilots and piloting power this is where I like to fly but to do this to get the weapons that I want on here I end up with no slot five weapon so when you initiate in combat you'd really like to skip forward faster <laughs> uh, and that's what that talent allows you to do uh, flash charge rush to engage starts combat at range four or three which is really nice the other talent that I tend to rely on to help me get in faster to the enemy and get close range is this one, Twitch Surge. So this is nice. Guarantees successful movement to a closer range and then 10% uh, plus quickness chance to advance two positions so that you can close really fast with that. Um, we need a few with this since we don't have the other one that I really like to have. And Flash Charge is the one that lets you start combat at range four sometimes at range three is a level 15 navigator skill um you're actually going to skip off to the void before you get flash charge so we kind of have to live without it for a little while but this build still works at least in normal mode now i don't think it works in hard mode but a lot of stuff doesn't work in hard mode now fortunately we do have one pilot here who needs to level so we can get her uh twitch surge so that'll help in our closing but then we'll go back here and get back to upgrading the ship all right so two two weapons here that are really nice we're gonna use two of these the grav cannons nice weapons they're ideal from slot two they get very expensive up here we're not going to worry about that expensive we're going to go with the 42k version of it uh, it's a level four <clears throat> gravity driver excuse me Plus 8 gunnery, strikes with 33 critical, does 21, 200 to 300 damage basically, and it's 3 reactor points to fire. Um, so we're going to buy 2 of these and put them in these slots. There goes our, our long cannons, they're gone. So we buy those, and you can see how much time that takes to build it. It takes weeks to install some of, some of this stuff. That gives you 2 grab cannons. Now, an expensive component I like to spend money on here is this, the medical bay. It's 294000 to get to Comic Medical, but it allows you to take one of the officer's quarters in the small slots and do something else with it. So this is, it's a really expensive component, but I like it. It gives you six medical rating. Um, I do this. And, New officer quarters will provide more beds than maximum officer count the ship type can support. Fortunately, it doesn't stop you from installing it. So you do that. That cuts into a chunk of our, our money here. But then it frees up one of these slots down here for other things. So now I'm going to change weapon configuration here. What we're going to end up with is... Let's see. We need a rail gun here. Go for weapons. So a rail gun three rp to fire reactor points to fire i'm not going to go expensive here because we don't have a lot of money it's going to take a week and a day to install that and then down here we're going to replace this with a lance so the lances close mid-range energy weapon being deals moderate damage to the hull and light radiation damage and we want to replace that because what this does is What's installed is the plasma cannons, the mid-range weapon that deals a large amount of radiation damage used to cook the crew and components while leaving hulls mostly intact. If you just want to create a ship that runs straight up and does boarding, go ahead and load it with plasma cannons. But we don't want to do that. So um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, give me the lance because I want to do hull damage. But again, we don't have a ton of money, so we can't go up to the level six one. So we install that one. Now we got this thing here. 
the pilot assist. You want to add as much piloting as you can to this thing. So pilot assist module. We can upgrade this. It gets very, very expensive really, really fast. So you'd be paying, you know, mm, so much money to add to, to, to piloting. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. And it adds a little bit more evasion. Purchase that. We're down to 267000 Okay, so our nav assist module, if we go back, this thing right here. Again, electronics navigation. It's 125 mass. Navigation electronics fighting from the back row. That's basically how I think about it. Uh, so rail track guidance adds gunnery and piloting up close, and it's got less mass. Uh, we just want to get a cheap version of this. So that gets me that component. And we've got a level three for pilot assist. You can see now we need some ship ops and piloting, actually, is what we're going to need for a crew member. And our navigation is still really, really high. So like this thing adds electronics navigation. We could pull this off uh, and get something else on here. That would be helpful. But considering everything, this isn't bad because it adds accuracy. I mean, it's not, it's not an awful component. And it's 50 mass, which is really small. And I don't think there's anything that we could put on there that would be of equal size that would be more beneficial than that other than, you know, more mass dampeners. So here's what I think the next, yeah, sensor arrays are really small. So I think the smart thing to do is leave that there and go for our last component. We have 145 Ks to see if we can upgrade this. Match type, go here. It's 63k to get to the next level and 117 if we want to go way up, but we need money to pay people and for fuel and things like that. So um, 21 shielding versus 19. Let's take a look at what that does to the numbers. It's 35 for army. That's not going to affect armor, but shielding 32. So if we do this, take a week of work. And it blocks 35. So we get a 3% bonus with all that money. At any rate, now we have 260 fuel, which is better. We have uh, these weapons. Uh, basically, you know, you're trying to get up to slot 4, then you're going to shoot your rail gun as you move into slot 2, and then you're going to fire this, this, and this. Because this, these both fire for 3 reactor points a piece, and then your lance is going to fire for 2 reactor points a piece. I, you know. That's going to give you uh, six, seven, eight, which is the, all the reactor points that the ship has. If these fired for two, they'd be overpowered, but it'd be nice. So that's why I have the lance on there is so that I can fire a third weapon. When we're just sitting at slot two, you can fire three weapons. Um, now, only other thing to do is upgrade the armor, which should cost 40. I'm going to do that, actually. It gives us 40, and that gets us to uh, armor. Oh, because it does this, yeah. 35% chance to be hit in combat. It didn't didn't upgrade that at all. That's interesting. So eight plus eight radiation resist, that's gonna help. Plus ten percent armor. It doesn't give you any more than it's still ten percent armor. You don't get an upgrade in armor until you get to the next level, so it's a small gain. Alright. That's our that's our group. That's our ship. <laughs> Need more ship ops. It, we're good on everything but navigation. But here's the thing with your navigation, with your crew. If we if we turn it all off, you can see how I have this organized. And we have three navigators. Later on in the game, I'll be down to two. But you kind of want these guys early. They have some nice skills, uh, especially Twitch. And later on, they're going to have skip off the void. And then after that, they're going to get you the one that, that, that uh, fires off. Well, here, let's look at you just see this is what's really useful about them is skip off the void later at a level at, at level 11 and flash charge at level 15 and you like to have a few of these so uh and right now a uh, perfect approach would be useful early so yeah it's you can technically get by because everybody else has a bunch of navigation like pilots they have navigation this is why your navigation score is going to get so high and it's going to outclass what you've got for a ship, but they've got really useful skills that nobody else has. We're going to pay our wages for our crew, and then we're going to look at 
taking off and doing some things. And here's where the rumors would be really useful. We have a need for four crew. Um, we have four crew slots and we really need to fill them and, and push these numbers up, push these bars to gold. You need to be golden, baby, before you can go. It would be cool to have the time to go run around and chase rumors and get better pilots. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we have that time unless either one of these people do rumors and recruitment rumors, and I don't think they do. He, you can recruit an engineer, but you can't. Yeah, he's got discounted fuel. Great. The closest recruitment rumors um, is going to be here. For recruitment rumors, I have the blue filter. And the nearest one is going to Oh, is 11 AUA. It's her. Um, let's at least go see her. But before we do, let's check for missions. From You always want to check for missions. Um, what she got. Steel Song and the Kadar Syndicate are locked in the Blade Duel. And she assist the influence of my friend and ally. I always like to try to do those if I can. So what do we have? Prisoners. Okay. We're set up for that because we have one prison cell. So what is this? You're going to do a blockade at Mono Fisher. Capture. And then you're going to bring him back to the Hyperion Loop. Or you're going to do targeted intel, which we're going to do spying. Okay. Spying might be good if we have lots of saves. Let's verify that. So under our talent manifest, we have seven cards for dealing with spying, which would make it pretty safe to do. I like that plan. So I don't want to promote rank. I hit the wrong thing. So this spying, we must obtain 13 intel from Javit. By any means necessary, our most direct route would be spying from Javit. And if we want to look at the map, we can get a pretty good idea of where they're at. There's two clan Javit systems here, so we wouldn't have to go anywhere. I like that a lot. So we're going to take that mission from her. Actually, if I get back to the right screen. <laughs> Lord help me. Okay. Okay. Missions. Let's take this one. And then you're going to do spine and you're going to end up with a prisoner. And that you're going to have to go somewhere to get the prisoner. That's what the intel is going to tell you. But I like this. I like this plan. And then go back and check this other person, Drayvon Bear, which we have 28 rep with. And does he have any good missions for us? Increase the influence of my ally and friend. This is eight jumps for 200. We have to go to the Dixie Circle. And we have to do a blockade or we go to the wilderness and we hunt the problem with the wilderness is we don't have any cards really to deal with it and you want to be able to avoid xenos versus blockading which we might have four cards so again to make a, a smarter decision go here check your talent manifest and say what do we have for blockading we don't have any cards for blockading, which is really going to suck. And we don't have any cards for exploring. So I'm not going to take either one of those missions from him. What we're instead going to do is go check on our rumor friend. That's going to be the next thing. She's got recruitment rumors. We're going to navigate straight to her. We get a pirate along the way. All right. So close to combat range. So here's the thing. You can always look at. The ship report. Our escape capabilities outclass these guys. I don't really want to fight them, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this fast getaway, and we're just going to get out of here. And if we can't, then we're toast. So one of their three weapons hits, and we get away. Excellent. We only take one reputation hit from them. Oh no, we don't even take that, so that's great. Give me recruitment rumors. Okay. Heal two crew from that little debacle. We got some damage there. That took some time. X bounty hunter. What do you got for me for recruitment rumors? Purchase. The help of X bounty hunter. We have learned of a new recruitment opportunity. A roaring celebration has descended upon righteous fallen spice hall. The celebration of the local astronomical event gives the populace. Excuse for many weeks of festivities and the utter collapse of trade law. <laughs> okay, well, so where is that at? You can click on the waypoint 
to take a look and then we can also take a look at her missions. I don't want to work against anybody on that, so let's see what these two are. Pending decision. Nose to the ground. Uh, this is this this is the blood duel thing, so we should probably be doing some of these missions. Um, what's it say? We must carry at least Hunter Edict 1, which we do. Plice includes a 4% bonus, thanks to my rank. We need to pick up the trail of someone and then probably go kill them. Otherwise, our options are explore expedition. Again, we don't have any cards to deal with exploration. So if we want to pick this one up, this is Dagon's Run. And it's got a six-year, 22-week time limit on it. Uh, so let's grab that while we're here. Okay. So if we go back to the map... You can see where it's pointing at us for these recruitment rumors, and it wants them all the way up there. Oh, goodness, we're not going that far for recruitment rumors. All right. In that case, back, land. Let's look at getting some pilots and people who can help. Remember, what our ship needs is ship ops, especially pilots, gunnery, and some electronics. And remember also, looking at here, we have extra fighters that we're probably not going to use so like this swordsman uh gone so let's just dismiss him here now so that we can add pilots that are going to help the exception is this guy silvis delazar he's got plus three initiative a pretty fair average quickness wisdom combo Plus 3 Fortitude, plus 10 Armor, plus 1 Quickness, Fortitude Strength, plus 12 to prevent crap maintenance points, plus 15 to all damage, and, and plus 15 to critical. He's a good fighter. So, I want to hang on to him as a backup, in case anybody dies. And then this gentleman here, he can go. Um, so he's gone. So that gives us more room to hire other people, which there are some people we want to prioritize. For instance... Uh, We'd like to get, like, uh, an explorer and a merchant, uh, some other classes of people to help us out on our ship. So, go back here and look at recruiting. So, one thing I want to get early and get them leveled up, since we're not going to be able to recruit somebody, obviously, who's really good, because recruitment rumors are way far away. Um, well, actually, let's let's look at that real quick. Recruitment rumors. This guy is two jumps away. He might have better rumors uh, for recruiting. Hmm. And he had, yeah, has scavenger recruits, but I don't care so much about them. Recruitment rumors. Nah, we just need to get people. We need six crew. So I'm going to grab a gun duck boss. They have a couple of nice talents that I like to have, and they're going to be, uh, they, they got a couple of nice talents for later on when you start to run into all the carrier firing off fighter craft at you. So I want to get one now and get him leveled up. But I don't care about stealth. This is going to be the problem. You can... Each one that you put seven recruits available. So you only have so many. <laughs> Give me a better one. Okay, Gunnery and Intimidate. Yes, he's just pretty much straight up. Okay. I'm going to keep him. All right. Now, take a look at our ship. Yeah, we need ship ops and pilots and gunnery. Okay, ship ops, pilots, gunnery. Pilots add to just piloting. And then the people who add to ship ops, well, a mechanic does, but it's it's not at the rate of uh, other people. Crew dogs are the people who actually add to ship ops really well. Uh, really high number here. They're like plus four to start. So I'm going to take a look at who do we have here. Evasion and doctor. Uh don't really care about those four ship ops repair gunnery dismiss let's try the next one we're running out of recruits here six and pistols yeah. just plain old guy he's got hidden traits all right we'll keep him we got three recruits left so you can see how this adjusts your well and it shows it shows it back here ship ops all right probably need another we got two on board we could use another crew dog who's this guy tactics yes plus six of tactics keep him all right we got two recruits available still uh, i'd like to try out the pilot board here repair and stealth dismiss we're down to one 
Intimidate. Okay. No. <laughs> no? Yeah, we'll keep him. Still, we, we gotta keep doing some recruiting. So. Level ups. Pilots. And I make sure all my pilots are wearing the same uniform. That's how I can tell everybody apart on that screen. So let's take a look at what he needs to do. So I have two people with guided fire, two people with sharp steering, three people with expert maneuver, and one person with sure landfall and one person with evasive maneuvers. Let's grab that. All right, gun deck boss. I like that uniform for the gun deck boss. That'll work. Let's make sure, what has he got here? Okay, dead eye. Buffs the ship with 35. So this is li later on in the game is when you run into carriers with aircraft. So this is something that becomes useful later. Um, I don't worry about it so much right now, early on. Debuffs launch enemy aircraft with minus 10 boarding, minus 30. Again, later on, because you just don't run into them early. Salvage in an orbital. Mm, I'm not going to do any salvage. I can get through the whole game without doing it. Failed intimidation check. Yes, we don't have anybody to do this and it's hurting us. So here we go. That's that's an easy decision there. All right, and I love this one. Trained in all ship weaponry system. Looting a capital captured vessel repairs up to three years. Ship weapon components by 10% plus a gunnery spell. Always nice. Crew dog. Let's give him a decent uniform. That'll work. Talents. Actually, you know what? There's a better uniform from... Yeah, more like that one. There we go. Okay. Purges a ship of any crippling effects. You need this <laughs> while patrolling the system roll re-roll a risk card um you need both of those passes a failed ship ops test we, we need that that's me we have one of these i think we're safe with that but this is more important to get more of these uh saves in as we can so let's do that and she's a crew dog and we got to find a uniform that works for her there we go Talents. All right, same thing. Uh, how many patrols do we have? We got like four patrol. Okay, here's what you do. You go back and you say talent manifest. I love that they have this split up. So for patrolling, we have five, which is still not enough, but I like that. Um, we're getting there. So for her, failed ship ops test. I'm probably going to grab this. We've got a few for patrolling. It's not really enough, but these saves are important and save us money. So, okay. Now, no recruits to fill two blank empty spots. Ex bounty hunter. She has this. Oh, yeah, we took a mission for her, didn't we? What's her name? Dorothy. Hi, Princess. Dorothy. Okay. Callous Justice. Let's go here. Let's progress the story. Here comes this. I love the look of that ship. I've said that before. Okay. What's his ship look like? Orders. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's let's fight, shall we? You have to go move forward. Twitch. And the more you can move me forward, the better. Uh-oh. Oh, he hit me with all three weapons. This is not good. So now I understand. This says our enemies escape capabilities, our enemies range change capabilities outclass, our enemies boarding capabilities outclass. That's not what the that's not what the first thing said. It's not what the first thing said. Okay, well. Now we have this fire to deal with. Component damage per turn, 20 crew damage per two turns. Um, we gotta keep moving. Must advance. Fire the rail gun along the way. Hope we don't get too beat up getting over there. Okay. Now how many things do we have here? It's two ship damage things. So we're going to take this and do uh, remove that. We're going to move forward. We're going to fire this one more time. And then we're going to be in range. 
Okay, and then he failed to retreat. Now we're close. Excellent. Alright, I need to repair that weapon. Because uh, that's the most important thing, but I gotta soften him up. Repair. Mm, should I repair first or should I soften him up first? You know, good shooting. Actually, here's what we're gonna do defense and accuracy. Let's do this. Oh, and he moved. Okay, so this is the next thing we gotta do is target lock to make it harder for him to move. And it hits, so target lock is gonna be applied. Now he can't move as well. Now we go in here. I need to fix that weapon. This also affects range change. So let's just get him. Now we're doing damage. I'm not still a little nervous about my weapon being hurt, so I'm gonna try to fix it some. Okay. Now he's hurting. The target lock has come off. Uh, he's still got this on him, though. Devastating shot. So now, what we have for damage is we can either go straight to broadside or this, which adds a little bit of accuracy and crit. I'd rather probably go straight to broadside. So let's do that. Let's hurt him. It's 40% damage bonus. So, And he hits us. And now he's about done. Okay. I need a I need a repair one along here because I don't have one. And <laughs> that's gonna hurt me. I gotta get that soon. Alright. He's not going anywhere, and I don't think we have to do anything else. I think all we need to do is fire and we finish him off, so. Oh, not enough reactor points because he took one off of us here. This is a uh, system blackout for the crew. And we don't have anything. All we have is this perfect approach, which would give us another reactor point. So let's fire both of those bad boys and it should be over. Oh yeah, there he goes. Right. Okay. Salvage it. Go land, and we got wounded crew. So let's see, efficient landing. <laughs> Duel of Assassin's Conflict has begun. Looking at all these things that are going on here. Okay, heal the crew members. Doctor healing, pay their wages. Leveled four crew, buy some fuel. Repair nine items. That took three weeks. All right. We need to decide if we should tell Val what Badu Jack told us. The case against her has already been ruled upon. She's guilty and there's no way to walk that back. And the duel of assassins has started. She has to worry about her life now. Still, if we do not tell her the accusation, she may reach out to help to the wrong people. We must tell Valencia. So we tell her. Many welcomes, Captain. You return and just in the nick of time. I've been waiting anxiously. I don't have long here at court. Did you meet with Badu Jack? Yep. Aiton Cha's assassins are coming. Callaghan has decided that I can't stay here. As you know, the court is too dangerous, and there is a traitor among our ranks. And now time is short. What did Badu Jack say? Badu Jack swore on the soul of the collective that your brother Eric was responsible for the bombing of the Highwind. Has the ring of truth. I knew Eric had been trying to undermine me for years. He is jealous Callaghan picked me. We need to tell Callaghan. No, that won't do any good. As soon as you say the word Hana, my father will stop listening. We have no evidence unless you are willing to trust Badu. And you are? Well, I've never met Badu Jack. I worked with him on Orion for years. They are both honorable men and they live by their principles. 
What will you do now? I have to leave the court as soon as I can. I'm not safe here another minute now that I know a traitor is in our bloodline. Let me join your crew, Captain. Callaghan was about to send me off at the Star Trader. Let it be you. If you came aboard, Aiton's hunters and assassins would be on our tail. I know it would be a great risk, but please, I will pay you 60000 I may not have space for another crew member. I don't care. I will stow away for a while. We can work it out. I will come to the starport at dusk. Get your takeoff approvals in advance. I will come with the credits at dusk. She's made a decision of what to do. You can see it harden in her eyes. Valencia aims to join our crew as a crew member, not an officer. She will join even if we lack the bed space for the moment. All right, we'll be waiting. Tense hours passed around the starport waiting. There, she is coming. I was not able to get anywhere near Eric. He might have been tipped off somehow. So I'm leaving in peace, Captain. I said my goodbyes to Callaghan, and he sends his thanks. When she says she wasn't able to get anywhere near Eric, if I'd have chosen one of those other dialogue options to reveal some de details, she says she's going to go try to kill him. But um, I didn't, so that's what she means by that. So she's leaving. Her father was going to send her away anyways, and we're going to leave. And if we want to talk to anybody else at court, these two, they're not going to have anything to do with this because we chose Valencia's side. Court missions, though. What is this? Patrol the shipping lanes near Husk until the pirate captain shows himself and then we'll blow him out of the sky. Um, I like that. Cobra's Helix, though. Where is that at? We lift off into the void with the heir to the Fane Throne among our crew. Welcome to my ship, Valencia. You'll get the hang of this quickly enough. Everyone pulls their weight. All right. You can ask her all these. Well, where should we go? To the stars? You're the captain. But we must avoid both my homeworld and Aiton Cha. Getting close to either of those places will only increase the danger. Okay. Well, I was going to take a mission for her dad there for the blood feud, but she says we shouldn't do that. So, let's go look at our characters here. We can level her up, ye old swordsman. So give her sharp counter. She's never going to see fighting, or at least she shouldn't. If, except on hard mode when <laughs> she was forced to fight. Yeah, I tried hard mode once. Not, I'm probably never going to try that again. That was difficult. This is fun. Hard mode was less than fun. Train jobs for my assassin engineer swordsman. All right, assassin engineer swordsman. Let's go. More assassin levels. And train talents. Oh, so many fun things here. Yeah, so balance blade. It's a good one because it's a, it's an attack. The problem is it's 1.5 times your weapons initiative, but it buffs you with melee accuracy, damage, armor piercing, melee defense for three turns, which is why I like to use it. Um, I like to have that. All right, and then we still need a person. So let's take a look at our contacts. They're going to come running from us. Political retribution. Oh, yeah, targeted intel, and she needs it from these folks, Clan Javat. So we have to find Clan Javat system here, and there's one right there. Let's go do some targeted intel, shall we? All right, we need to spy. Excellent. Damage to components. I mean, it's just minus one damage to components. I don't waste my cards on it. I'm, I'm saving it for really dangerous things. Intel records. Oh, there they go. Just disappearing into the wind. Powerful ship. That's, that's what I save it for. Rerolling and getting rid of it. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness that one went away. We have somebody who's hurt. It's a merchant ship that we can just retreat from. We're going to go orbit, land, medical services for 13 people. Oh, there's no medical services here. Hold on. Orbit. Why is it? Oh, we got wrapped. There's just no medical services here. This would be this would be dangerous. Where do we have medical services? Right here. Wiki 6. That's where we have to go. She says it's going to be dangerous, but... It's a smuggler. No reputation lost for the Indies. Ship report. Yeah, 
ship report doesn't seem to be very accurate all the time. It's a little... Land, give me heal crew members, pay their wages. There are recruits here again. So what do we need? Still the same thing. Ship ops, gunnery, some electronics now, and pilots. Pilots. Let's see. Ship ops, electronics, repair for a mechanic. Um, having a second mechanic might be nice. So who else has got high ship ops? What's the thing we're really hurting for the most? Ship ops and electronics. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get him. I got one mechanic. I'm gonna see about getting a second one. Evasion, negotiate. No. Let's try to get somebody that's got some kind of relevant bonuses here. Rifles, command. So I'm looking at these bonuses here. Because that kind of tells you about their hidden traits, right? And I don't care about. I can purge this whole team of people here. Doctor, negotiate. Evasion and tactics. Okay, I'll keep that mechanic. So, give me that person. Crew mechanic. Give them the proper uniform. You gotta look like a mechanic. Alright. Automatically passes a failed repair test. We only <laughs> Reduces the cost and duration of shipped in small craft repair. See, they've got some nice things. Reduces cost of repair. Um, which is just great. Buffs the ship with two reactor points. I don't ever hardly ever use this because it self-inflicts ten component damage per turn for two turns. But these... Let's go that. Repair. Okay. Back to here. Let's patrol. Ship op success. That's what we want to see. <laughs> We're spying. New contract introduction, I'll take that. Sinfia Viriaga, a clan job at mining. Mm, okay. Intel records, that's what we really need. Hostile pirate, reroll that. Oh. It's just so tough when you see the one card and then it it just it disappears into the wind. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so Reroll this really dangerous thing here. Mm. So, oh, okay. reroll this because I don't want to lose reputation. Powerful and unexpected ship. Well, merchant ships we can just get away from, thankfully, because we have 45 rep. Uh, anytime I see. Oh, Death Among Crew. Oof. Get a new contact. <laughs> That's the problem with re-rolling is sometimes you can get something worse. Um, uh, oh, but we got we saved here. Uh, command talent allows us to pass a command push resilience test, thankfully. So I like it when that happens. Death among the crew. Let's not do that. Intel records? Oh, finally we're gonna get some. Okay, I think we needed like 18 records. Death among the crew, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is awful. <laughs> okay, how much longer do we have on this? Six years for that one. For the intel, we got six years to obtain this intel. So, I'm okay going, moving on to something else and not dealing with that risks. Um, there was, one contact here that was really important early in the game and it was Saudi Greaves so let's I made a note here see make notes lots of notes where is she right there oh yeah and it's because she has military gear she's three jumps away what system is she in Uthar Thala Rift Tradeway Uthar Thala Rift. Waypoint me on that. Let's take a look. At the map. We're going to drop down. Get some fuel. Pay our crew. Nobody leaves. 
got to pay attention to this over here when you're playing hard mode. You crew leave all the time in that mode for some reason. Um, all right, so where is she at? Oh, she's over here. Okay. And what's this? This is an offered mission. Where are my actual missions at? There's one in Dagon's Run. I really want to go get a mission from her, but we need to do the ones that we have. So this is Wilderness Tombstone, Dagon's Run. Okay. I'm not going to do advocating amendments. Don't care. Huh. Three, six years? It's six years for both of these. We're going to go see our friend over here. Because I want to start buttering her up. We're going to need her combat gear. And we're going to run into story hunters, bounty hunters, and stuff along the way. What's going on with the Kadar Syndicate? Minus 147. Oh. That's tough. Hmm. That's really difficult. I like to try and... You can get these guys... Fight a pirate. What's the situation here? <coughs> okay. We're going to fight. I'd rather not, but... He didn't hit us on any of his three attempts, so... I think that that's very promising. Uh, I'm going to do this. I like that because it's got attack and defense. It makes us more accurate. And I don't want to get hit as I'm trying to close the distance to these fools. Oh, and he moved in. He realizes, hey, I need to fight. Cool. Okay, in that case, we're going to rake him with this. Actually, let's target lock him so he can't go anywhere. Or this one. Nope, which one is it? This is a minus 15 range change, and it gives you... He does less damage. This is defense, minus 20 escape. Let's do that. One more, and we're there. Yeah, there you go. See, he's going to try to get away now. Mm -mm. Not happening, buddy. What do I have here? My best abilities here. Minus 20 shield. Yep, yep, yep. Now we're going to butter him up and then hammer him. Oh, yeah. Sister. Here you go. Broadside. Bring her around, Captain. Ooh. She hit me and she crit me. Oh, but that's the end for her. Okay. Salvage got us 19k. Um, Alright. Oh. Remove risk card. I want this. Ah! Hmm. Okay. Repairing and recovering the fuel would be nice, but that's not going to happen. Varied results. There's a bounty hunter trick. He's a Kadar bounty hunter. I don't. I don't want to do that. So let's do this. I'm trying not to make them hate me any more than they already do. It can take a lot of patrolling, but you can get yourself, you can get that fixed. It's a hundred. It's a lot. It's a lot of patrolling. Bounty hunter ship. Ugh. These are no good. Okay. That helps. And on this particular person, we can just bribe. That's, those are, those are good ones. Darn it. Darn it. 
All right, I'm gonna use my last card here. And then if we don't, yeah, we get some reps. So this is nice, a Smuggler. They're Indies. And we've got, yeah, Death Among Crew, but we don't have any more cards. A bounty hunter has fallen us out of the system. All right. Close combat. It's just a Kadar bounty hunter. So what I'm going to do is get out of here. That means the serious bounty hunter is coming soon. Oh, oh, and they hit us on one of three weapons. So we're a little bit damaged to start with, and that was my concern. I want to go get repaired somewhere. They won't stop. Yes, they won't stop. So let's go here. Melbourne. Merchant. Oh, uh, our level's so low that we can't buy them off. So you just leave and take the penalty. All right, pay the crew. Heal five crew. Buy the fuel. Repair the items. All right. Now we're ready to go. Mm. I'm just going to keep fueling up and stop it. This, this bounty hunter is coming. We need to talk. I saw the folks you were talking to at the starport after we landed. The Hana operatives. Yep. She used to work with them. I need allies right now. I can count you among them, but I'm not sure who else I can trust. I count on every return to my father's court after what happened there. So she's a little concerned about that, certainly. Uh-oh. Now we're in trouble. Close to combat range. Great. So a Xeno ship. All right. Our enemy, yeah, everything about them outclasses us. So, let's see if we can get away, or we're gonna die. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, we escaped. Whew, those things are ugly. Okay, well, this. <coughs> let's go repair more items in the heal crew. <laughs> Oh, that was ugly. Goodness gracious. The Xenos. Way down here. Okay. No emergency medical services anywhere. There's a pirate. Oh, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to lose rep to any of your people, so. He's got our ship. Uh oh. We failed to get away. Hmm. Okay. Well then. advance actually let's twitch surge to make sure we get there we're gonna have to fight him that's just gonna suck we may lose this battle got a little damage to one of our primary weapons here Now what do we want to do? Let's see. This applies minus accuracy to his weapons, which I'm all for. Get to my optimal range of my grab guns. And now we still couldn't move. I don't want him to go anywhere. I 
think he was thinking that he could just stay at long range and pummel me and oh we're still not making it we're gonna have to twitch again hmm plus 25 range change and a reactor point for us let's see it perfect approach let's see if we can get here with this there we go that's what I want now we can hit him. Hit him hard. Accuracy. Critical. I want to do this though. No shield. Or minus to shield. Minus 20% to his shields. Yeah, now who's trying to get away? I want to get away. Broadside. Oh yeah, and I have actually an extra reactor point, or I did. I could I could use the rail again, but this is actually op. These three weapons are optimal in slot two. So let's do this. Oh, he's going to try to broadside us. We might not have time. One more should do the trick here. So let's repair our weapons as we fire upon him. Day's over for you. Buddy. The hull has ruptured. The ship is collapsing, which is good for us. Oof. Okay, salvage for 21k. That's nice. Now we need fixing. There's something going on there. What is this? Surplus. Who? Nice. <coughs> you can buy stuff for cheap. There's no repair facilities available here, though. That's a problem. Okay, so... What do they have for cargo buying, though? They got A+, plus on a whole bunch of stuff. Hmm, that's interesting. What do we want to flood our... <laughs> I can tell you the things that I see over and over and over again. Let's go down the list. Um, crystals, but there are none here. Are asked for a lot by quests. Refined spice is asked for sometimes, but it's permit restricted. And then the other thing I saw is, is vodka is quite often asked for a lot. Um, oh, what do we have to sell? hydrocarbon fuel where do we oh we got that for free somewhere by picking it up off the ground yeah I should go try to find a better place to sell that but I want to grab the vodka so it's cheap right there a plus price heck yeah 12 units I'll try to get some more later all right we gotta find some emergency medical services Meanwhile, Shock Trooper has made a level. Who has repair and medical services? These people do. We're going to want to do some patrolling for them, I think. Plus eight, we need to do a little more than that. Heal the crew. Repair a bunch of items. Buy water fuel. Spice leave to keep people happy. It took a couple days. Oh, yes. Bounty Hunter Exoscout has leveled. Okay. Now you've brought the hunter to the foot of my ship. We're in a public starport, you realize. We're being watched. We will be short, Captain, but I think this is something you'd like to hear about. Oh, Orion Blue. I would have expected to find you walking around a respectable starboard. You call this place respectable. It's good to see you again. And you as well, Captain. We are very grateful for what you've done for Valencia. Alright. Oh, and I skipped again by accident. Okay. <laughs> that, that darn button. 
All right, we're willing to work the honey with the honey if uh, I think it'll help your situation. She's got something she wants us to do. A friend among the Hunna Collective. As Val said, it's good to have friends everywhere. All right. Valencia and Orion have added a mission to our current mission list directly. We can review the details there and cancel the mission if we are not interested. The mission is running guns. Oh, yeah. Water purifiers. Great. Okay. Well. Water purifiers. Buy cargo. Did they have any vodka? What are we what could we sell our vodka for F? Okay. I was trying to get down here. <laughs> so where, where I wanna go. Failed ship ops and a merchant. We may retreat. More failed ship ops. That's not good. Okay, there's our contact. No medical services for 10 injured crew. Ooh. Awful. Warrant officer. We only have 10 with her. And so we can't buy military gear. We got to get a mission from her. A duel of assassins. Okay. Steel song. Oh, yeah. So what's this one? No, oh, it's pretty easy. It's a short mission. Okay. 13 years. Wow. It's a long time limit on it. Need to pick up the trail. Oh, heck yeah. I will bring him in. I'm a bounty hunter. That's what I do. Pardon? She can pardon for steel song. Interesting. What's her other mission? Another one, but it's even further away. Yeah, I don't want to make that many jumps. We're not really jump equipped yet. <laughs> for, for long ranges. Another hunter is following us out of the system. We all know why they are here. Battle stations. Okay. Who is this guy? We outclass them in every way. They're level 7, we're level 12. Except their engines give them some kind of advantage. Which... Levies a constant disadvantage at long range and short range. Their agility outclasses our ship. Okay, so they have a better agility. And our agility is what? 15. Okay. Well, we gotta close as fast as possible. Let's go. Fifty percent, two of his weapons hit, so that's not great. Let's see if we can reduce that number. Okay, both of those missed. That's good. And he's closing, so that's nice. We're at range three. Let's target lock so he can't get away. Or at least reduce his chance of getting away. <coughs> More missing. That's good. And now we move to optimal range. All right, take out his shields, or at least, again, reduce shields. Nothing ever gets, you know, removed here unless you destroy all the components enough. Well, those helped. And that, oh, and he actually was able to get away. Okay, so I've got target lock on him, and then this also changes his range. Re helps him reduce the chance of getting away. That'll give him a total of minus 25 range change with target lock on, so. We closed range and he didn't move that time. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I need more defense. I don't want I don't want to get hit. While I'm shooting at him. That helps. Alright, let's broadside this sucker. Oh, that did it. His day is over, but that's not even the hard bounty hunter yet. That's just a rando, so... Still... Still have to worry about the, the named bounty hunters coming to eat us. 
All right, salvage it for 19k. Land here, cause hey, guess what? Um, I gotta get repairs. All right. Now, one jump, 12 years. Running guns, though, this has got the shortest time limit on it. So what do we need? We need water purifiers. Okay, what's it like to patrol in this? Oh, that's we don't need to patrol in this zone. What are these guys? High-tech industrial. Where do water purifiers come from? Let's see. It says industrial orbital high-tech tradeway zones. Well, I just happen to see that sort of zone over here. These guys have medical facilities, but we're we're blocked out of it right now because of minus 11 rip. So let's patrol before we do anything and hope we can fix this. Mm. Making it hard on me. Yikes. Death among the crew. No saving talent. Merchant. Still at minus 11. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I got two chances over here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, baby Jesus. That puts us in the positive. We can use the medical supplies. So I want to try to get a little bit more rep here. Yay. That, I like that. Oh, you rats. He's a spy. Okay. Let's just try to get out of here. That's what I want to do. I love that ship design. It's awesome. It's really cool. More patrolling. What else can we do? Give me that rep and a smuggler, baby. Oh. It's chewing through a few. Powerful and unexpected ship. Nope. Ah, oh, rats. Chewing through the fuel. Oh no, that's even worse. That's <laughs> Oh, death among the crew. Yeah, there's I'm just gonna use both cards up. Cause we're just getting hammered here with bad luck. <laughs> oh, it's no good. We got enough to fix our people, so pay the crew. Heal the crew. Buy the fuel. We got low morale. Fix the parts. Pay the crew again. Alright. And that has been a long episode, so that's where we're at. Folks, thanks for watching. As always, if you dig it, thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a question, comment down below. I'll see you next time as we continue on. Bounty hunters are on our tail. Thanks for watching.